and as you can see where the uh, where the summer raspberries are it's almost not necessary at this point because you can still see the plant so you got the yellow steak which again is the, the got, summer raspberries. Got yellow for summer, uh, or the thinking on that was, you know, sunshine in the, in the summertime, yellow. We, we want to keep it simple with primary colors. Um, yep. They're just uh, the most eye-catching. You can see them and, and they're easy to identify. Also, really easy to pick up spray paint and, and <laughs> other other uh, things like survey ribbon, other other oddball things that you can color code really easily with. Got everything mixed in here. This is unpruned. This is all yep. just, just, just basically fresh from last season you know uh, nothing's happened to it since since harvest you can see an obvious difference between the old canes and the new ones um, you know these old canes I mean the brittle as can be for one they've already starting to got you know uh, shedding happening on them uh, and the new ones just kind of have a little bit more of a, of a uniform color all the way through and, you know the newer canes have basically just a, a straight cane that's about it the spent canes that are all junk at this point you know, I've got all these little side shoots. Visibly, can, you can tell that uh, that they're dead, basically. So I find it's best just to kind of come through and take all these old ones out first and foremost, um, and then you kind of have a little bit of a better idea of what's what's alive and, and uh, what which of the alive ones you actually want. Um, at first, sometimes, you know, here's a good example with the very first one. Hardly any anything new has really been cut out of here. Um, still plenty of stuff that can kind of get cut out of here um, but coming through it or at the bat sometimes it's just it's a little bit of a, too much of a decision-making process so I find that if you go through there get all the old ones out and then look at it even 20 minutes later it really does uh, allow you to kind of move through it a little quicker gonna get so much fruit so what we want to try to do here is take out some of these small ones. like this guy here is no you know I mean this is good but it's it's gonna be a lot of small little berries same thing with here the little one here and these and this so what we want to try to do is come through leave some of these nice big ones like this one this one this one this coming in here okay, a little guy a little guy maybe that little guy Okay, what we're trying to do is get, get it, think of it like this, right? The plant here, the plant's only got $100 to give out. If we leave 100, 100 canes, we're gonna have $1 per cane, or one berry per cane, or however you wanna think of it. If we take a few more out, we're gonna get better stuff per cane, okay? We get some of that little stuff out, and maybe even this guy here, just a little too tight. Okay. Again, some of the, some of this more this type, type of small stuff. Anything about that size and lower. If you get a plant that's only got only small stuff, we'll leave a couple more. Okay. A little bit more like this. Okay. But at the same time we want to make a nice little space too, okay? Yep. So if we get if we get a spot we get too many too many grandes, we want to cut them out. That's good, like that. Yep, getting that center one out. Now both those other ones got a little more room. 